Hey guys, welcome back to the Daydreamer Hustle. In this video, we got our truck back from hail damage repairs. It turned out amazing. So, this weekend we are heading out to Red Lodge Provincial Campground. So, stay tuned and follow along. Gus Gus just chilling with his life jacket on. Safety first for dogs, of course. Never fails afternoon Alberta thunderstorms. So hopefully uh, it passes by and uh, we can get out of here and get in for another tube float and say in the afternoon. Tons of dragonflies out here if you guys can see that. So we just made it back here and uh, the storm just passed us so we just got back just in time. Gus, did you have a great time floating? Yeah. Oh, thunder. Did you have a good time? Huh? Did you have a good time? Oh, shake, shake, shake. Just started healing. Hopefully it uh, doesn't turn out to the situation like we had before. Hey guys, so here's another project here. So, when we bought the trailer, you can see there it's just a zap strapped um, the rubber mount there broke so today we're out camping we're gonna fix it because that's what we do we don't really like to just sit around too much we like to always keep busy and find new projects to do so let's start with this one so everything apparently everything is riveted on including this piece up here so I'm gonna have to drill it out. Because I'm probably pretty sure that if this is an actual part you can buy. And I'm not gonna do that.
Okay, so I brought a couple pieces of rubber with me. Um, first, fold in half, and I'm gonna drill a hole for the center. when you're drilling for rubber that you drill a lot more than you should for the hole size because sometimes sometimes it goes back it shrinks so snug fit perfect uh, that's the bottom right here so my gray bolt oh one here, feed it through here, feed it through there, and I got myself some nuts here. Dang it. Uh, couldn't really find a washer, so what I ended up getting was a lock washer, something to See if this works. So, oh, wipes is up from her nap. What are you doing? Oh, doing the exhaust pipe here. It's raining again. Yeah, it is. So, good idea. Yeah, it's the rubber that I got from work. Mm -hmm. Pretty soft. Yeah. I think I need a bigger washer on there. Hmm? I need a bigger washer. So just gonna use this existing piece here. Boom, there you go, new piece. Just had to drill out the rivets, put some bolts in. That's, there you go, exhaust bracket fixed. And let's go do the kitchen faucet. Okay, welcome to our next project. This faucet here has been leaking, plus it's a stainless, nickel stainless. No, it's hard to tell in here. I think it's stainless, isn't it? It's not nickel. So, stainless faucet. I'm gonna switch it out to this black one with a soap dispenser. So this mixer valve is going to be our new soap dispenser. And our mixer valve is on the actual faucet. And then, just make sure I have everything and make sure everything fits. Um, I bought these, it's like a shark bite, but it's called Tomahawk. So I just test fit one of these Tomahawks onto these water fittings. They work great. Okay, first we're going to turn off the water pump. Off. Then we're going to go outside and drain off the lowest point. So let's go do that. Just outside the just outside the door here there's a low point drain and we're just gonna drain the fresh water. A little pressurized here. 
You're not too pressurized. Oh yeah. That pump and accumulator tank is doing its job for sure. Oh wow. Not as exciting, but all right. Do some dirty dishes. Faster. It says five times and then leave it and then do it for five more times. The instruction said that? Yes. Oh, oh, here's something. Oh, there it is. It squirts sideways a little. Okay. It's down, straight down. That's why I thought it was gonna come out here, but it's actually I thought underneath. it was gonna come straight out. It was underneath, eh? Yeah. That's neat. Sweet. <laughs> 